Today's video is the final in the series of Marozzo's Sword and Buckler uh, Sharp Sword section. Uh, it's very similar to Balagoke's variation of the attacks, except it's significantly longer, but we are doing a lot of the same things over and over again. Uh, because it's a bit longer, we have to look at my notes a few times as we're doing this, so, uh, so bear with me. Uh, but essentially we're seeing many of the same actions repeated throughout, uh, namely a false edge defense and reverso, or a false edge defense and a madrito, uh, by means of a trade to the buffer. So we're not really going to see any true edge defenses per se, aside from a darigo uh, que facha uh, towards the end. So for most of these actions, we're going to start in Kodunga Alta, meaning that we are going to be the patient. Uh, not in every case. Uh, there are a couple of places where we do lead the action, but as a general rule, this is our waiting position. So we're starting in Kodunga Alta, and we are going to deal with one of three attacks, being a thrust, a mandrito, or a riverso. First up, we have a stoccata. So this rising thrust to the face or chest. Against this uh, attack, we're going to step strongly to their inside, clearing with the false edge, trading, cutting to the leg with a rivera, so look at number six. So just step in here. And here he has us step back with a mandrito, and then come to Corona Stretta with a reverso or a half turn of the hand. You could also just thrust as you're leaving, as much Lima shows us. So that's the first part, which has us ending in Corona Stretta. So we're going to lead the action. We're going to step forward, thrusting to the face. They're going to defend in some way. Trade and cut to the leg with a mandrito. An attack is going to come in. We're going to defend with the false hedge again, strike the sword hand with our buckler, which is going to free up our sword, step to their right, and the right one's going to follow, striking with a mandrito to the leg, and then step back with a the left foot and the reverso, and we're going to end back in Corino Galta. Now we're back to where we started. Now we're dealing with a mandrito to the head. Or to the leg, it doesn't really matter what it is because we're doing the same thing regardless. Once it comes in, we're not going to defend, we're going to step off the line, striking to the head with a fendente. Come on down to Iron Gate, the wide version of this. An attack is going to come in, we're going to defend it with the false edge strike to the leg with a reverso. So I've done this. And then we are going to leave with a mandrito, so a chingale. And then we come back to Cordon Alta to deal with the third kind of attack. This next one, we have two options here. One will let us keep going, the other one kind of ends it. So I'll show both. I'll show it off. So when you guys comes in, we're going to avoid the attack, let it go past, and either cut to the leg with any bad so cut and cut, and then we'll come back to Shinkyabe, and it kind of stops there, or to continue and to go with a thrust instead. So here, we'll let the attack sail past. Thrust, and thrust, and I'm going to pull the sword all the way back to Kurumogadi Stays on the extended long tail. Uh, this is almost always going to be a guard to wait in. So here we are waiting in this position. Uh, any attack comes in, we're going to do the same first defense, which is come in with the false edge. So defend with that, trade. Cut the legs, step to Chingyale, and attack comes in. We're going to 
defend false edge, cover the head, strike with a reverso to the thigh. So now we're in this good little stretch leg position. And then here he says don't move your feet to do this, but we, we kind of have to uh, thrust to the face and end in Kurunga Stretta. So we adjust to the false edge, cut, thrust, and then cut back. So now we're back to Kurunga Stretta. We're going to lead the action again. And we're just going to a little, a little interesting here, a little a bit ornate. And then we're going to come here. We're going to raise our sword alto. Throw the reverso, throw a false edge. The assumption is that they're going to try and press our sword down. If they do that, we're going to raise the left, the palm of our sword to the left side of our head and throw a reverso stranazone, striking either their head or their sword hand. So we here go to alta, throw reverso, see what happens, and bring it down. False edge and then stranzone, get back and then transition to Kodunga Alto. So once again, we're back to this waiting position. We're going to come back to the Stesa, and here we're actually going to be the agent. So we're going to throw a falso brito to the sword hand just to kind of see what they do about it. Uh, if they do nothing, we'll keep going. Or we could try doing this again, but change what we are going for. In this case, we're going to throw this to the face. Going towards the right, so one, two, so striking over top, trying to hit with his punting falls, so his punta, Falso in puntato. They're going to defend in some way. We're going to. Before we just start, let me rephrase this. So I need to do this uh, as a false attack. So I'm not going to fully step in. I need to take a, a small but unusual step to kind of draw out their response. So rather than doing this, I want to go no further than this, which will allow me to change directions going to their inside with this reverse. So, so again, we're going to here, start the action, they respond, switch to the low line, and then from here we are going to step back and then come back to Kodunga Alta. Once again, we're going to start, and specifically, doesn't matter if it's anywhere else, my partner is going to be in Porto di Ferro Stretta, because I want to gauge them with the false edge here. So to do that, we're going to step to their right, doing a punta diversa. They're going to defend in some way, presumably clearing our sword to our inside. We're going to yield to that, strike to the head with a fendente and bring our sword all the way down to uh, Portivero Larga. Attacks that come in, presumably to our high inside. We will use the Ordi Faccia, Tadagoki's Faccia. And then we're going to continue by throwing a Riverso to the right side of their head, so stepping to their outside with a left foot triangle, left foot and triangle step to the right. And then we are going to recover, step back to Iron Gate. So we're going to mess, Iron Gate, and then over to Cordova Strata. And the final sequence of actions here is I want you to do two uh, false thrusts. One is the false imbocato, this false impuntato, and a punta diversa. So but also has a step stepping with our left foot to the left. First, we're going to do this the Tanagoki way where we use the left foot behind and then come forward to the right, but I'll show how to use it here. 
So we are here, stepping strong with the left, with our left. We're going to raise our sword some way, which is going to prompt us to attack low with a Mandarich to thigh. We're going to come up and down, we're going to come down to the wide iron gate. They respond in some way, or they don't. We're going to want to step to the right side with a punta reverso, strike to the leg with a reverso, and then we're going to thrust as we leave, and then go back to Cotolonga to finish. And that concludes this section of his manuscript. The next video we'll look at will be a bit more attribute-based, uh, as we're looking at something with both the right and the left hand. So look forward to that.